what's going on you guys in this video i'm going to be unboxing a brand new product that's a lot different than the other tech products i've done in the past this is actually a stand-up paddle board that's inflatable that you can use on the water so without further ado let's get started all right you guys so i just ordered a paddle board in the mail from iRocker and the paddleboard is called Blackfin and it's the size Model X. So this is what it comes like in the packaging. It has a pumper, it has paddles, it has ankle bracelet, patch kit, fins, and a bag that it can come in for portability. So this is exactly what it looks like. Right now I'm just put down the patch kit that comes in that blue canister. And then what we also have is a really nice ankle bracelet so that way, if you ever fall off your paddleboard, you don't have to worry about it floating away. Then we have this nice paddle that it comes with. Super easy to just clip in, which is really convenient. And then you can adjust the length depending if you're sitting or standing. This bag, you guys, is super tall. I'm about six feet tall and it comes up to my hip. So it's pretty tall. I would say it's around 35 to 40 inches tall and this is what it looks like coming out you just roll it out again this is an inflatable stand-up paddleboard so it's not one of those thick ones that just comes with it also the reason why i'm washing it is because i ended up buying a used open box version so pretty much it's just a used stand-up paddleboard from the company way cheaper than buying a brand new this brand new was around 1200 dollars, but with it used and open box and all that it came closer to around $500 total with tax. So now here's the process of actually pumping it up. So this is a double pump from iRocker that they give you for blowing up this stand-up paddleboard. The reason why that you need a double pump is because it's a lot of work to pump this up and it also can be super confusing. Now, as you can see here, I'm making sure it's twisted in and locked in correctly. You wanna make sure if you get one of these paddleboards too, that you push down the valve twist it, then put the actual pump over it and twist it in as well. Because if you don't have the thing actually pushed down and twisted in, it's not gonna pump any air into it. So just keep that in mind. And that's me almost dropping the pump. And I'm also just reading the instructions because I'm finding out real time how to do it. And as you can see, it's a lot of pumping. I would say it was probably around 300 pumps maybe to get this thing all the way up and inflated. It's around 15 PSI is what's recommended for this iRocker stand-up paddleboard. I actually didn't even get to 15 PSI when I blew it all the way up. It felt super rock solid hard and my friends have also said that if it feels fine and solid then you should be good to go. But if you wanna get up to that 15 PSI, you can do that as well. So as you can see, I'm six foot three and this thing is super long. It's just shy of 11 feet, I wanna say. And yeah, it's crazy long. I, I can't even, even fit in the entire camera, which is insane. All right, so here are the fins that come with the stand-up paddleboard. All you have to do is slide them in like that, and there's a little clip that you can lock them in. So that's really convenient. This will help you with steering the actual paddleboard when you are in the water. And then this is me sitting on it, pretending to paddle with the paddleboard. So obviously with your paddle, you're gonna have it the shortest setting when you're sitting, but then when you're standing, you're gonna to wanna to extend the paddleboard to be a lot longer and also keep a nice wide stance. Obviously you're not gonna be wearing socks while you're paddleboarding, but that's just something to keep in mind. Here is, I have an actual cup holder for my water. This was an accessory you could add on to the paddleboard. Now, do I recommend ordering this? Honestly, probably not. It seemed a little excessive to get that accessory, but it's just nice to have if you are wanting to have that feature, if you're just wanting to sit around and have your drink in a cup holder. Also, there's the ankle bracelet and all the setup. Here's everything total that kind of comes with it. The patch kit, the fins, the pump, the paddle, the bag. The bag comes on rollers, which is huge because not every company provides you a bag that comes with rollers. And let me tell you, the rollers come in handy because this is not a light package to move around when you're on the go. All right, so yep, there's the there's the patch kit, the fins a little bit more close up. They're a little bit scratched up because it is used, but that's fine. It's gonna be underneath the water, doesn't, and there's the PSI as well. And then here's different settings on the pump. So you start with one, 
and then it's halfway, you go to two. And then when you just need a couple more pumps, you go to three. And then it's nice because they have these cords here if you want to put any of your flip flops or bags or anything. And then the cup holder, nice close up. Just screw that in. Here's what it looks like overall with the paddle board. It's the Model X Blackfin from iRocker if you guys are interested in this model. Super nice. It comes in this kind of light gray color. Might not be the best when it gets really hot outside, but that's okay. There's the valve. You want to push that thing in with your thumb and turn it before you pump it up. But then also when you want to deflate it, you want to do the opposite and go um, the opposite direction to deflate it. Push out all that air, roll it, and then getting it in this bag was kind of difficult with everything else. But with time, I was able to finally fit everything in this bag. There's also a front pouch where you can put things in and then you can just roll it. So it makes it super convenient to move on the go. So this was the entire setup and unboxing of the iRocker Blackfin Model X stand-up paddle board. If you guys are interested in actually getting this paddle board, I'll have a link to it in the description below. I highly recommend buying the used models. This is a very high quality paddle board. And if you wanna save a tremendous amount of money, that's the way to go. And to be honest with you guys, I had no issues with it. They're obviously gonna not send you something with holes in it, so I would recommend going with that approach. But you can also find other options as well out there if you are interested in other stand-up paddleboard versions. All right, so if you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.